I've been feeling pretty down lately. It got to the point where I was actually struggling at work. I blame this state of mind to feeling like I am not there yet. It has manifested in the form of really struggling to wake up in the morning, finding it extremely difficult to fall asleep, feeling like my brain was running at full speed, and then during the day, even sending one email was a struggle. While a short break from everything may have helped to slow down and recover, I still need to work on it, and there are a few things that are actually helping me to do so. I've said it before and I'm gonna keep on saying it, meditating is probably the best and cheapest practice you can include in your routine to affect the way how you feel in a positive way. It doesn't need to be 30 minutes, it can be as short as 10 minutes, you just need to close your eyes, inhale, exhale and you will for sure start to feel better. I do meditation every now and then and what works for me is guided meditation and when I am not up for it just inhaling and exhaling in a really intentional way will do the work. Meditation has been proven to decrease stress, control anxiety and promoting emotional health. I'm not a meditation guru and there's probably thousands of other people that can explain how meditation works and even walk you through some meditation better than I do. A reason why we might not feel happy is because we feel disconnected from who we used to be, whether that is a person, a place or simply a hobby you deeply enjoyed. This can be achieved as simply as calling a friend to hang out, going back to a place that you miss or simply going back to a hobby that you know used to give you a lot of fun. Sometimes we put as an excuse time in order not to do things that we actually enjoy when actually the only restraint is ourselves. We say that we do not have time. A way that might help you to get more out there to do things you used to love is to ditch your screens. This is something I struggle. Initially, I was actually gonna say ditch your phone, but then I realized that your phone is not the only reason why you're still connected, why you're still having the need to read what's going on in the news, the constant need of going on YouTube or checking on your friends but it's actually the screens. While I've seen myself sitting for hours behind the screen, I do try to ditch it and walk for a while and just get going. I'm probably not the only one, but when I'm bored or do not know what to do, I tend to grab my phone to fill that void and find some purpose. Now tell me, and I'm gonna give you two seconds to think, how many times have you grabbed your phone, actually scrolled through it and thought, that was a good scrolling session. Probably never, and your phone and your screen are the reason why you don't feel accomplished or happy. Something that might actually help you with that is to get rid of social media. I've had social media since I can remember, and while I do find that it may bring its benefits having it, I've actually deactivated it for the past year. I have to say, I've never felt better in my life. The comparison game I used to be part of is actually gone. And while I do have some fear of missing out, especially with my friends from back home, they do end up sending me some updates once in a while on the group chat, especially for the important stuff. And I cannot emphasize it anymore, but I do believe that social media may be the sole reason why you are not happy. If you're constantly on your phone, looking at social media, other people's life, comparing yourself to other people and their standards of living, that may be the reason why you're not happy. So delete social media and go outside. When we were kids, we would go play outside quite a lot, whether it was raining, hailing, or sun was shining. As I grew older, activities moved to the inside, whether it was playing some board games or cards with my friends inside or playing some video games. It was not until I met my girlfriend before COVID and after COVID actually, that that desire to go outside more into nature and spend more time outside, outside actually was born. Since we live in the Netherlands, we go by bike everywhere, which can be seen as a form of sports and getting outside. But besides that, we go rollerblading when the weather is nice, and luckily we have someone that forces us to go outside at least three times a day for a walk. And since he is not an easy dog and actually is quite a reactive dog on the streets, we try our best to leave our phones walk with him, train him, and actually enjoy the walks, which actually not always happens.
Not taking your phone with you all the time actually helps you to disconnect from everything and everyone. Our food choices affects our mood and health. While an excess of sugar may feel like a lot of fun in the moment, and you might even get a sugar rush, the effect only lasts short term. Taking care of your body can help you regain the extra confidence and boost your dopamine levels, which may lead in long run to a sustained level of happiness. And I have to admit, I'm guilty of Friday evenings having a pizza or Saturdays a burger, but I do know that the short term satisfaction of having a burger and pizza probably every weekend is not as beneficial as having healthy food every day in the long term. And if none of these ideas were actually helpful for you and you think like even doing these ideas is too much of an effort, just look for professional help. Sometimes working with a coach, a therapist, or even maybe a friend of yours can help you and benefit you in a big way. Whether you're struggling or you're working on yourself, just professional help is always good and don't be scared to seek for it. I've done therapy in the past, I'm currently working with a coach and the benefits are immense and I continue to recommend these benefits to everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you got some value out of it. If you're curious to see how my no social media life has gone through, perhaps check out this video up here and otherwise I'll see you on the next one.